Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is wanting to work on something. This is someone who wants to provide you with a new opportunity. Um, this can be someone new, or this can be someone who is wanting to start over with you, but there's an energy here of um, being in the beginning stages of something. Something is developing, it's a work in progress, and this person is eager to prove themselves to you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the lovers, Gemini energy, the devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy, and we have the emperor, Aries energy. So there is an energy here of someone who is um, has released some sort of toxic patterns or behaviors that they may have held in the past. With the devil being in the reverse, that is an energy showing someone who has let go of an attachment to something that was not serving them and in turn it wasn't kind of affecting the connection they shared with you negatively so this person who is coming towards you whether it is someone you know or it's a new person there's an energy here saying that this is someone who's coming towards you healed they're coming towards you as a healed version of themselves they have worked on their shadow side they have worked on their darker qualities and they are self-aware they are um, a work in progress yes but there is this is definitely someone who is on that journey of being a better version of themselves and with that emperor energy they are looking to give and to receive stability um, there is an energy here of someone who is also not afraid to make the first move someone who goes for what they want and they are feeling a strong connection towards you they they feel very pulled towards you with that lover's energy this is someone who has already chosen you there is a hope that you would choose them back though the page of pentacles is also that energy of them proving themselves wanting you to notice them trying to get your attention but this person does feel like you there's a significant connection here and they are offering a healthy kind of um, connection to you this is someone who won't play mind games this is someone who won't be manipulative they'll be very direct very upfront um, it, this is someone with very genuine honest intentions so let's clarify these cards cancer Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card, and this is Scorpio energy. So again, we're seeing someone here who has a lot of self-awareness. There's something this person has um, changed about themselves. They've transformed. They've been through a very dark energy with that um, devil there being in the reverse. But with the Judgment card, it's like they were able to rise above. This is someone who's really healed a lot. And there is also, again, an energy of wanting some sort of acceptance or approval from you. It's like the ball is in your courts. This person is going to really put their, themselves out there when it comes to you. There's an energy of wanting you to choose them back. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Six of Cups in the reverse, water energy. The Two of Swords, air energy. And the Four of Swords, air energy. Okay, so... With the Six of Cups being in the reverse, there's again, it's like there's something about the past, it's something that they've left behind, and it's something quite heavy. Their past has really shaped them in some way here, but this can also be an energy of someone who is wanting to move forward with you. Um, if this is someone you already know, there's an energy of them being a completely changed version of themselves with the, with the Six of Cups being in the reverse. 
Um, and with the Two of Swords, they could be seeing you as a bit guarded towards them. And so this person does want to be gentle and respectful towards you. There is an energy with the Two of Swords of them seeing you as a bit distrusting towards them. But this is not someone who will give up easily. They are seeing you... For some reason, they're seeing you as a challenge. They're seeing you as hard to get. But with the emperor being there, that is an energy of someone who's not afraid of a challenge. But there's also an energy of not pushing you too hard. But at the same time, not giving up easily. Um, there's a persistent energy. There's an energy of willing to work hard for love, willing to work hard to make a connection happen here. And if that means being patient with you, with that sort of swords energy, there's an energy of them willing to wait for you. And with the Four of Swords, there's also that energy of this person may be coming during a time where you yourself are transitioning or healing from something. Um, and this person will be very compassionate towards you because there is an energy that they have also dealt with something in their past that they needed to heal from. So this is someone who's very mature and understanding and very compassionate as well. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Cancer. Okay, so the card says expect powerful change new moon eclipse okay so we definitely see someone who has changed a lot from their past they've done a lot of inner work and they have a lot of self-awareness and there's a very strong transformative energy with the judgment card there as well okay so this is definitely someone who has a lot of experience in terms of healing and um, self-awareness as well because of their past experiences. And if this is someone you know, they, they've learned from their past experience with you. They have changed a lot. So they have worked on themselves. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Cancer. So the card says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to, to take. So there's again that energy of someone who will really make the effort. With that page of pentacles, that's someone who really tries. That's someone who, um, you know, puts in effort, goes the extra mile. It's very genuine energy, but it's also a go-getter kind of a person here. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you, Cancer. So the card says, Tulip, friendship and gratitude. Let us be grateful for the people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. Okay, so this person wants to make you happy. There's a sweet energy from them, a very sincere energy. Um, this is someone who um, values genuine connection. This is someone who wants to also focus on the foundation of the connection. There's nothing shallow or superficial about this person. There's an energy of wanting to build a genuine bond and connection with you and putting in the effort to achieve that with you. This person won't rush you, but this person also, there's that energy of they won't give up on you. They won't, they, there's an a very healthy energy from this person. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.